dear students welcome once again in this series of video lessons for standard 4 computer science in today's video lesson the explanation of the topics are little extended than your syllabus portion this is done to maintain continuity and clarity of the explanation for the exact portion of your syllabus you please refer to my question answer pdf or the last recap slide of this presentation in today's lesson you will learn about block diagram of computer functions of each block organization of data file folder subfolder their creation and their definitions and how to open windows explorer so let us begin with the block diagram of computer as you can see in the picture the block diagram of computer is a figure which represents all physical parts of computer in the form of blocks it also shows data and control flow within a computer it consists of various blocks such as input unit output unit memory or storage unit control unit and arithmetic and logic unit now let us understand functions of the each block input unit it accepts data from user and gives it to the computer for example keyboard mouse scanners are the common example of input devices output unit it shows the result of com computation from computer to user monitor printer speaker are the common examples of output devices memory or storage unit it stores the intermediate and final results of computation it includes various types of memories such as ram rom hard disk pen drive etc alu and cu it is like a brain of computer it gives all control instructions to the devices of the computer in this way a block diagram of computer represents everything that happens inside the computer organization of data in this section you will learn about files folders and subfolders before we start our discussion on this topic let us understand why we require all these things like folders subfolders and files to organize the data computer contains lot of data in different storage locations if we don't organize it properly then we will be in trouble when finding our data as you can see in the picture locating your favorite dress in an unorganized wardrobe is little difficult than locating it in an organized wardrobe 
this is why data in the computer must be arranged properly for easy access folders and subfolders provides us a way to organize our data properly definitions of file folder and subfolder file collection of information is called file there can be different files in your computer like an image a video a song or a document all these files are stored across different locations in the computer folder collection of files is called as folder subfolder folder inside a folder is called as subfolder let us understand these definitions from one analogy as you can see in the picture your school bag is like a folder inside it if there is a compass box then it is like a subfolder and inside the compass box you are keeping all your things like pencils sharpener etc they are like the files in the same way in computers the data is stored and organized in folder subfolder and files before i teach you how to create a folder and subfolder you must understand that naming folder subfolder and files properly is very very important names given to files and folders must have some sense so that you can easily understand the contents by reading the name of folder or subfolder in the given example folder is named as standard 1d online teaching inside that folder there are sub folders which are named date wise and if we consider any one sub folder for example 1st of june 2020 then there are different files that are present inside the sub folder so if you properly name folder sub folder and files it helps you to organize your data properly one more thing before creating a folder mouse is a device that plays an important role in creating a folder you must have to use it properly in my practicals i often observe that students don't know how to use the mouse and then they become crazy clicker don't ever do that if you don't know the functions of right click right click left click or scroll bar then pause this video over here for a while and read it carefully now it's time to know how to create a folder 
on desktop or in any other drive. Watch the video which will be played in the box to know about it. Right click anywhere on the desktop. Go to option new and slide over to the option new folder. Left click on it. See the new folder is created with the default name which is highlighted. If you want to change it then enter the new name any new name of your choice you can give. After entering the name of folder you can click outside or you can press enter button. In this way a folder can be created on a desktop. Same way you can follow to create a folder in any drive of a computer. If you want to create a subfolder which is folder inside the folder then you have to double click on the folder to open it once. Once the folder is open you can apply the same steps as we have discussed to make a subfolder. So in this way you can create folder and subfolders. File Explorer or Windows Explorer. It is an utility which helps us in managing our files and folders. Steps to start Windows Explorer. Click on Start menu as shown by number 1. Go to Accessories folder as shown as number 2. Click on Windows Explorer option as shown on number 3. The Windows Explorer will open. Let us have a recap of all the things that you have learnt in today's lesson. Block diagram of a computer. It is a figure showing all physical parts of computer in the form of blocks. Blocks, input unit, output unit, memory unit, ALU and CU. File, collection of information, folder, collection of files, subfolder. Folder inside folder, Windows Explorer, utility that helps in file or folder management. I hope that you all have understood today's topic. Next week, I will be back with the information on computer hardware and software. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, take care.